What's on, people? Uh, Dr. Vlay here with another update for the long drive uh, modifications. Uh, time for a new video. Right. Uh, again, this video will cover the same topics uh, as before, where to get the, the patcher, where to get the mods, um, how to install them, and how to install them manually if you need to. Um, and I will um, also cover um, custom using custom music if you uh, want to have some extra music in your radio. Okay, well, the first step is uh, well, have a little play with the dancing man here. Um, right, need to head over to Discord uh, if you're not a member already. Um, so uh, click on the button in the bottom right of the main screen. And uh, and then when you're over in the Discord, if you can't see all of the the channels, you will have to make sure you read everything in the rules section first, um, and uh, follow the instructions there. Um, and then you will be able to see all the sections, including the long drive section. Now, this part we are interested in is the mod loader. So click on the mod loader section um, and in here uh, if you can't see the workshop listed here uh, click in the pinned messages and you'll always see the current version uh, usually at the top or um, you won't have to look very far at least um, and if you want to read the guide you can also um, um, look for this guide in Steam as well um, and it's all written down for you now download let's grab a copy of that and the best place to put it is in the documents folder uh, long drive because uh, this is where the mods folder will be created uh, now I prefer a tidier file name than that so I'm going to just remove that thank you and uh, yes, that's downloaded now, nice and quick, quite small. Um, right, where's my folder? Um, here we go. Now, Windows File Protection will um, more than likely block you from patching the game, uh, especially if uh, your games are still installed in the C drive in the uh, default Steam location. So, right click and run as administrator. And this should um, stop um, any problems. Now, as you can see, it's saying that mod loader is not installed. Um, maybe there's an update. Now, do remember that after every update of the game, you will have to repatch again um, because it will replace the file that this is patching. So, click on yes and it will install the patch there you go nice and quick it also created some files in this folder I think um, TLD loader file was one of them and yeah, that one as well um, right as we can see here it says it is installed already installed so you should be able to go to the mod section and this will download a list of the current mods that are available on the server um, and you can uh, yeah, just go through and install the ones you want very simple and uh, it will put all of the correct files in the right place for you automatically without you having to um, do uh, anything else um, which will be this folder here the mods folder so we should move on to manually installing them then um, now let's go back to the Discord. What you will notice here is that sometimes uh, brand new uh, versions uh, will be submitted into the mod loader section and um, made available. Uh, so uh, quite often you might find that there's a newer version uh, that's available here that has not yet made it into the workshop submissions. So. Um, Yes, it's always worth having a check if there's anything recent in here 
for any new updates. As you see, at the moment there is some some new updates because of the uh, the recent vehicles. Um, so uh, yeah, yes, always check. All right. Um, now most of these, well, you can see are just a DLL file. But let's find one here that is uh, something bigger. Um, the larger ones or mods that come with um, extra assets like the, yeah, the turbos because that one includes new models so in that zip file is a DLL and an asset folder to go with it and um, if you manually download them you will have to unpack them and then copy the contents into this folder here so it should see just DLLs in the mods folder in the top nothing else but these DLLs and then there will be an assets folder with all of the bits and bobs that belong to any of these DLLs if they have any extra models for example like the um, extra buildings and better crates and things like that um, yeah, and the physics gun oh yes of course and the new tires things like that um, but yeah this is uh, what the folder should look like just DLLs in mods and then an assets folder there alright and now when I load the game it will um, let's just close that uh, we should notice on the opening screen something new um, if all has gone well there will be some new text yes there it is so that shows us that um, which version is currently installed and that it is successful if you want to double check then press M and it will list the currently loaded mods now while you're in the menu here you can scroll up and down to check but um, once you're in game you can't scroll it up and down uh, okay none of these are red so yeah they are all ready to load when the game starts uh, if any were corrupt when you downloaded them you would see that they would be red in here and um, like a red plug yeah. right okay successfully install let's quit out of that and we'll cover the final section um, or I might have to load the game again actually but um, yes if uh, you download one of the archived uh, modifications uh, say from uh, may find some in mod db or nexus mods or other websites or, but they may come as a 7-zip or a rar file for example um, so you may need to go grab a copy of winrar um, now the official site is rarlab.com uh, so yes uh, kind of plain looking website nothing fancy um, and uh, you may prefer 7-zip um, personally I use WinRAR they'll both do the job They're both free um, uh, yeah so your choice uh, no pressure right back to the game I suppose because we better cover custom music now in the documents folder of long drive we have this folder here custom radio now unfortunately although the long drive does support mp3 and uh, og files uh, it seems to be more successful if you use wave files although i do have uh, mine as og files in here i put up with the occasional lag as it changes over track but um yes if you use wave files it tends not to lag when it swaps tracks um, now to access these extra music tracks you will have to when you're in the game select the appropriate radio station on your radio um, but also you'll need the right radio because since uh, the last update it has now uh, been swapped over to um, close. Yeah. 
Uh, mm, 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 the AM radio. Mm. Not the old radio that um, you may remember, but this is, uh, you've got to look for the shiny, um, the shiny radio. Well, actually, uh, you may be able to, I can't remember if you can change the mode on the black radio, but there's a silver radio um, as well, which is AM. And uh, once you select 1080 as the channel, and make sure you have custom radio enabled you will now be able to hear your custom music selection on that station right I think we're done so oh time for drinking there mm -hmm. thanks for joining me and I hope you uh, are sorted if you have any questions you can find me in the discord or um, have a look at the Steam um, guide, uh, equally useful. It's got pictures and stuff there. And uh, yeah, don't get lost in the desert. Cheers.